So today we are going to talk about key signatures and one of the ways that we do that um, and have that discussion is by using the circle of fourths to kind of organize the way that we think about our keys. If you recall using this we generally work clockwise but you can go both ways and it works out just fine. Um, very quick tutorial on these key signatures and the way that the circle of fourths is laid out is that the uh, key of C which is the 12 o'clock spot on the circle has no key signature there are no sharps or flats as we move clockwise we add a flat so the key of F has one flat the key of B flat has two flats the key of E flat has three flats and so on the way that this uh, circle works out is also pretty cool because as we have one flat the name of that flat is B flat if we have two flats the name of those flats are B flat and E flat if we have three flats in the key signature, they are B flat, E flat, A flat, and so on. And to kind of verify that with it for you, key of F, one flat, key of B flat, two flats, that are B flat and E flat. Key of E flat, three flats, B flat, E flat, A flat. So if you look here, this is also laid out in those fourths. Same way as the circle, the new flat for any key is the same name as the next key signature. That can get a little confusing. Um, and if it does, simply memorizing these and referring back to this while you do the quiz today um, will be useful. As we look at the sharp side of the circle, you'll notice we have the same deal, right? We add one sharp to each key signature, but the way that we remember those is a little different than for the flats. Again, the order of the sharps, if we have one sharp in the key signature, that's the key of G. The key of D has two sharps. The key of A has three sharps and so on. And again, if we look here, that key of G has one sharp, D has two sharps, and so on down the line. Um, for sharp scales and sharp keys, the seventh scale degree, so in the key of G, the seventh note is G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That seventh note is our newest sharp, so F sharp is the only sharp in the key of G. In the key of D, we have two sharps. Again, the D scale, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, seventh note is C sharp, that's our newest sharp. And it works on down the line, same way. The seventh note of the scale is our most newly added sharp. Last thing I wanna draw your attention to is we add flats or sharps to the existing flats or sharps. So for example, in the key of E flat, we have B, E, and A flatted. In the key of A flat, we have B, E, A still, but we added D. Same thing with the sharps. Any sharps we've accrued here are still as part of the order of sharps in the um, later keys. Last thing I want to show you on our circle of force is that down here we do have three keys that are spelled what we call enharmonically, where B and C flat are the same note. F sharp and G flat are the same note. C sharp and D flat are the same note. Let's investigate F sharp and G flat right here. As I look onto our keys, okay, F sharp and G flat. Okay, they are actually two different scales in terms of how they look, but they will sound the same. So as you get to that point in that circle of force, do be careful. Okay, your lesson today, you're going to have a quiz that will look similar to. Um, what I'm going to show you right here. Okay, as you click on the file in uh, Schoology, you'll see an exercise that pops up and it will ask you to identify the key signature it's showing. Again, two sharps, if I refer to here, the scale that has, or the key that has two sharps is D, therefore my answer would be the D major key. Okay, this one has no key signature, which is then C, and I can double check it here. Okay, no key signature. So hopefully that helps for you today. Good luck, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Take care.